welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a happy hump day. So today I'm going to do a haul video. It's kind of a mixture, Sephora and the drugstore. So let's go ahead and jump into it. And you guys have probably heard me talk about these over the last couple of weeks. I started with one and I ended up with four. I have made order after order on Sephora's website because these are amazing. Girlfriend, if you get anything from this haul, pause the video and go buy you one of these. You will be hooked. And I've heard tons of people talk about them on YouTube, so I know I'm probably the last person on the bandwagon. But Stila finally became cruelty free and if you don't know, I no longer buy and support companies that test on animals just because I don't think it's necessary at all. There's tons of brands that do it without testing on animals, but I won't go off on a tangent. I will tell you though that these Stila Glitter Liquid Shadows are amazing. So they're officially called the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow and you have to get at least one. They're $24. They're amazing. I started out with Kitten Karma which is just kind of like an everyday champagne gold and then I got, I wanted a colored one and I got Violet Vixen which is a beautiful purple. If you watched my video on Monday, I am wearing this one in the intro. A couple of people asked about that. I'm wearing this on the lid. Of all of them, Violet Vixen is the least glittery. It, it still has a sheen and some dimension, but it's not glitter overload. You know what I'm saying? So it is a gorgeous color. And then I just had to get two more. I got the color Diamond Dust, which is just kind of a silver um, glittery sparkle on your lid. It's absolutely stunning. And then the one I'm wearing today, I went back and forth. This was the last one I ordered. It actually got here yesterday. Um, and it's in the color Molten Midnight. And now listen, I have never been good with a smoky eye, like a black smoky eye, like I'm wearing today. If you have trouble with black smoky eyes, get this. It is so good. Now, whenever you're blending this, it's a black with a silver sparkle glitter. And whenever you're, I think there might be a little bit of gold glitter in here too, but whenever you are blending this on your lid, it's going to get rid of the majority of the glitter, but it makes a black smoky eye so easy. Yeah, there is silver and gold sparkles. I'm not sure. I'll definitely insert up close swatches because these are amazing. But um, of all of them, I would recommend Kitten Karma, which was the first one, and this one, Molten Midnight. This one is just so unique. You can see it on my lid. There is a little bit of that glitter still, but if you're using this for like a black smoky eye, you're gonna blend a lot of it away, but the actual black color stays and it blends and it's just amazing and these things go on your lids and stay all day long you need them you need them you need them seriously i know 24 dollars is kind of like ludicrous to spend on a single eyeshadow but i feel like you can use these in so many different ways that it kind of justifies the price you can use them as a liner you can use them as a top coat as a single shadow. There's just so many different uses. I did use the purple one as a liner. I just opened it and put my liner brush on it on my lower lash line and it's just, it's so pretty. You guys need these. I'm going to stop talking about them because y'all know how I'm obsessed I am about those already. So you know how um, Sephora gives you a coupon code for anything over $25? Those are $24. So a couple of times I ordered one and then I wanted something small to throw in with it just because I wanted to make it over that $25. And let me tell you, this has been such a fun purchase. I got a couple of milk makeup products because I've been hearing some buzz about them here on YouTube. A lot of YouTubers get these huge press kits. 
um, or PR samples, you know, big, huge bags of milk makeup, and I'm like, whoa, that's amazing, but it's kind of been making me want to try some stuff, so I got this tattoo stamp. It is a heart. I have had so much fun with this. The boys, we had our cousin over this weekend, two of our girl cousins, and they just love these. These are so fun. They're $12. I don't think you need to run out and buy them, but they are fun. They have a peace sign, a smiley face, a star. I got the little heart one. It's just literally a stamp, but it lasts on your face all day. It's a lot of fun. I put one like back here, and then I put one right here one day. I've been putting it on my ring finger because I think it's cute. I don't know. I have been having a lot of fun with this, so it's kind of a fun little item. Definitely teenagers would love that. Honestly, that's so much fun. And then another milk makeup product I decided to try is the Roll and Blot Papers. These, I have been out of blotting sheets literally for like three months, which is okay because in the winter time, I don't get overly oily. But in the summertime, I get super oily. I'm about to go to Vegas in a couple of weeks and the temperature and the heat is just different there than it is in Texas. So I definitely wanted to pick up some blotting sheets. These were $12. I usually get the Tatcha ones, which I love and highly recommend, but I thought I would give these a try since I bought that other milk makeup product. I thought I'd give that a go. And like I said, I had a few little um, coupon codes. So I wanted to mention this one, which is what I'm most excited about. It's the Alginist Recharging Night Pressed Serum. What is a pressed serum, you ask? I have no idea, but I love overnight mask, and I, I don't know, the thought of like an overnight serum sounded really, really interesting. It's just a really packed in um, cream. Ooh, it feels nice cream, but I haven't tried this yet. I will definitely try it and let you guys know if it does something magical to my skin. I thought that would be fun to try though. And then a couple of other things. I so far have really been impressed with Drunk Elephant skincare. And if you don't follow them on Instagram, you totally should because they have some really funny like memes or quotes. They're always talking about needing coffee and caffeine and you know adulting it's really funny but that's a side note this was one of the samples it is the tlc sakari baby facial it says resurface and reveal 25 percent aha and two percent bha so i'm interested to try this little sample and then i got the pharmacy the pharmacy honey savior all-in-one skin repair solve I put this on my lips a couple times and I wasn't like super impressed with it at all. Um, and then I put it on my elbows, which get really, really dry. And I definitely saw where it is a really good moisturizing solve. So not necessarily for the lips, but I did like it on the body. And then this is the Coco Tree Detangling G. Softens and detangles thick, dry hair. I think it says Omet. Oh, biologics maybe I don't know this was just a little sample perk for my hair so I thought I'd try that and then I got some stuff from the drugstore so um I tried the wet n wild photo focus foundation the liquid and the powder I did a get ready with me using those and I was like I need the concealer so I went on a hunt to Walgreens and I did find this concealer. It's the Wet n Wild, like I said, Photo Focus Concealer. Um, and let me tell you, this there was five shades. I know there's a ton more shades than that though. But at my Walgreens, there were five shades and the lightest was Light Ivory. I do like the texture and the consistency of this. It's a little bit thicker than like the Urban Decay Naked Skin. It kind of almost reminds me of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's kind of creamy, almost moussey texture like that. But it is a good concealer. The only problem is it is a little bit too dark for me to use as brightening up my under eyes. I used it today, but I did have to layer another concealer over it just because it wasn't as bright as I want. So this isn't my shade in particular, 
but I do like the formula and um, I'm going to be on the lookout to get a lighter version of this. But I have two other Wet n Wild things in here and these are things that my sister bought and they just didn't work for her. So she gave me the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade Mascara and she was like, I saw her when she wore this mascara and it looked like she had no mascara on and she put on three coats of it and um she was like what am i doing wrong this is insane she said her brows almost look lighter with this mascara than they did without any mascara which how can that even happen but i'm pretty sure it happened to her so i definitely did not have high hopes for this mascara but the first time I tried it, I was honestly blown away. So that just goes to show you that different products work for different people, even a mascara. Who would have thought? I mean, all lashes are just lashes, right? I don't know, but I was blown away by this mascara. If you've tried this, let me and my sister, let us know in the comments what you thought about it. I'm interested to see how many people love it and how many people don't. I'm not a fan of the mascaras that have the little ball on the end of them because I never know what to do with it. It's like, what? What do I do with you? Oh, but I found a use for it today. I'm wearing false lashes and I'm wearing those accent lashes. So I used this little ball to go in the inner corner of my eye to add a little bit of mascara and it worked. It doesn't bother me when I'm using it. I just think it's kind of pointless but I did find a use for it. I really like this mascara, so yeah. And then another thing that did not work for my sister is the Wet n Wild Correction. It's the Stick Concealer, and this is in the color Follow Your Bisque, number 807. Now, the first time I used this, I thought it was great. I would never use this kind of stick concealer under my eyes. That's a lie. I have the Clay de Peau, which is a stick, and I really like it under the eyes. But this, I just could, I could tell by swatching it that it would not work under my eyes. I did, however, use it down the bridge of my nose, which was perfect because it's a stick. And I also used it on my chin. My sister said it broke up on her a lot. Now, she has oily skin, so I can definitely see where that could be an issue. But it did not break up on me. I did set it with a face powder, so maybe that helped a little bit. Um, but I really like this. Like I said, not for under the eyes, but definitely for spot concealing or highlighting the center of my face. And then the very last thing I got, and let me tell y'all, I am so excited about this product. So excited about it. It was, it's, it's from Target, and it was a little bit on the pricey side just for, you know, drugstore prices. I think it was $12 or $15 dollars but it is the pixie glow mist and i was texting with my girlfriend my best friend lip gloss leslie whenever i was shopping at target and i was telling her that i really wanted to compare this to the what is it 60 dollar tatcha dewy skin mist which i have had in the past and i actually love that product but it's so expensive it's seriously ridiculous so I wanted to try this and compare it and I'm very pleased to tell you guys that it, this does the exact same thing as the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist. It feels the same. The spritzer sprays out just the same as the Tatcha one. It gives a beautiful, beautiful overall glow to the face but not where it looks like you're sweating or you just worked out or someone's just drenched you with water you know what i'm saying it just gives you and that's what i was afraid of because anything that says glow mist makes me think it's going to make me look way too glowy but this is beautiful it's absolutely stunning it says that it has argan oil in it which is great this is cruelty free and like i said you can get it at target i highly highly recommend this product if you have drier skin or you just really like a glowy look. Now, if you have super oily skin, that's probably not gonna be a product that would work for you. But if you've been eyeing that Tatcha Dewy Mist Spray and you just can't you know, bring it in your mind to fork out that much money for a setting spray for your face, try the Pixie one because it's really, really good. So, 
that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.